Hey guys, it's Hatch Gun Lonely Pub. Last time we got our screw attack and our ship grapple. This time we are going to probably use them both. Um now I do have a dilemma. They haven't showed me where the things are. I know where the bomb where one of the bomb wait. Wait, it says it right there. Collect first bomb component. Collect second bomb component? Wait, what the heck? Why doesn't it show me? Um... Oh, that's pretty cool. Um... <clears throat> I may have a problem here because I don't know where to get the stuff, most of it. But I did realize that I missed a landing site with my ship. Completely missed it. I'm probably going to go get that today also. So, let's open the door. And... Let's ignore... Wait. What the heck is that? Ah. Going hyper mode, completely kill it. That's weird. Oh well, we don't need to kill it. There are some enemies there I'm not even gonna bother with. Open the door. It's really bright and I have my window open. So, oh crap. <laughs> Um, so I might have a little glare on the TV and not be able to see as well here and oh my gosh I'm getting attacked really hard Okay, so this is I think this is first bomb component. No wait First bomb component. Okay. Well it is Apparently Right Well, it says it, but I don't see it. Oh, wait, probably over here. Bye. Wait, what? Collect first bomb component. I don't see what bomb component. And I know for a fact that isn't the first one. What? Wait, what the heck? Oh, go away. Okay, fine. Pull. Okay. What do we have? Um, I don't know. Crap. That, I know that is not where the first bomb component is, so... Even though it says it on my map, I don't know why it does. It is so weird. Look at this. Okay. I'm in the room that says, collect first bomb component. Maybe it means up here at the top? I don't think so. I know what the room looks like where you get the first one. Elevator, that's not working. Actually, wait. Yeah, I'm supposed to go up there. <clears throat> I don't know where the heck I'm going. Oh yeah, we can now get a missile expansion up here. Okay, that'll blow up. And we can fall down to our doom. And fall down to our doom again. There we go. 
missile expansion acquired. It won't actually uh, make you look at that message because then you wouldn't be able to jump really well. So it'll just wait until you hit the ground. Um, I think this goes up. No, it goes down. Oh wait, is that right? That might be right, that might be where I have to go. I don't even know. I'm just going where the map takes me. The weird thing is I just watched um, more of the walkthrough I'm watching last night. Or yesterday. It was early last night. Um, but I still can't know where I'm going. Oh wait, this is right, this is right, yeah. But this is a chosen room. This is, for, this is where you get your first bomb component. I don't even know. I don't know. Do this. Pull it up. Data received. So your ship is going to pull this up with its new ship grapple. Which looks so cool. Also, I was kind of hoping this would be a 25-part series. No, 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 no. No! I got a good eight hours left of this game. Not gonna be a quick game. This is by far the longest of the games, I believe. Um, so yeah, this, this is by far the longest of the Metroid Prime games. Possibly the longest Metroid game, maybe. Possibly, actually. Duh. Is there a longer one? I mean, I can beat I can beat Metroid Prime One in six hours, not even. I beat it on hyper mode in six hours, and that was with death. Um, actually, I don't think I died. No, I didn't. Um. Yeah, th this game was going to take probably a total of 10, 20 hours. Not not 20 hours. That's as long as my Paper Mario LP. Oh, wait. This isn't a bomb component. Wait a minute. What the heck? I could have sworn this was a bomb component. But no, apparently... I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is a map station. Well, basically, you unlock every single map in this area, in this room. So now we get this map. Or this area's map. It's, it's really cool to watch this. So the magnifying glass or whatever it is goes over this. Makes the sun appear. Makes it shiny. And we have blast off in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three. There we go. And you've downloaded the map for this area. Which is pretty cool. In case we missed anything. Which I know we did. So that'd be nice. And we got two more to go. There are a total of four and you can get in this area, I believe. There look like there are a bunch of plants. Actually, it looks like there are five. Like there's another one that's lit up. But we don't have spider balls, so we can't get that. Can I skip this, please? Mash the buttons. No, I can't skip it. Satellite. Oh, satellite has downloaded additional data from Brio. Go faster! Nice, I did skip it. And then there's more, but, um... There aren't nearly that many planets, it's just... Decoration or something. But... Yeah. So let's go over here, let's see, there's one more, and one more over there. So we have two more things to do here. 
But now we can finally go through this area. And I believe there's a missile expansion in here. How did I get... Oh. Oh, a puffer. Uh. Um. So yeah, this can be a little annoying. I don't know how bad. 500 kills, nice. But we got ourselves a missile expansion. through here and go through the white door to get ourselves a second bomb component maybe yeah first bomb component actually well we have to go through this one there we go now we're here and Samus is gonna be walking in even though we've already gone past that point in the game force field <gasps> Berserker Lord? I thought you died. Nope, the Berserker Lord is back, and we have to fight him again. I was kind of hoping to get Nintendo LP back for this, because so he would be in every single Berserker Lord fight, but uh, he was not able to. So, you'll have to settle for just me with the commentary. And he's still throwing up, as usual. And... Is he going to be orange or blue? Blue. Orange. Uh, yeah, this fight can be a little annoying considering he only ever shoots out like one blue at a time. And you just keep pounding him with the. Uh... Uh, you could speed it up a little bit with the phase on beam or hyper mode. But I, I this, this works fine. Actually, I think I'm taking more damage not doing hyper mode. Yeah, that, that was good. Come on, blue. Nope, orange. Swing blue. Why are you facing that way? Blue. Orange. Uh, if you shoot the oranges, you will get hurt. And if you get hit by the oranges, you will get hurt. I'm speeding this up. Come on, Berserker Lord. Berserker Lord. Orange. Blue. Orange. Is your head almost off? Nope. We're going back to hyper mode. That makes this fight so much easier. Come on, blue. Nope, orange. Any blue? A blue. Oh, another blue. Of course. I love that. Oh, I thought I killed him. There we go. Whoa, wait. Didn't I take all your things out? Yeah. Oh, crap. There we go. There we go. Now it's time to die. Perfect! Goodbye for good, Berserker Lord. And it is good this time because you can see him disappear. Berserker Lord defeated. No, you don't actually have to scan him again. And if you did miss scanning him the first time, you don't. Uh, you get another chance. That's nice. And we're going to take this ship apart in a moment. We got a cool little puzzle over here. All in all, I think I'm actually really liking this Metroid game. I didn't I didn't really like it at the beginning. 
felt it was a little kind of slow. And they took out some of my favorite power-ups. Like, power bombs and super missiles are not in this game. They are replaced, but they're not in this game. And that's kind of disappointing, considering they've been in, like, every Metroid game since Super Metroid. But supposedly this... Supposedly, in the official timeline, this came before Super Metroid, which I don't see. Which would mean Other M came after this, and Fusion is the latest one. That doesn't make sense. But, who wants to hear my version of the timeline? I'm sure you all do. Okay, so I believe it goes Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Other M, Metroid Fusion, Metroid Prime 1, Metroid Prime 2, Metroid Prime Hunters, and Metroid Prime 3. Or however Hunters fits in, I don't even know. I, I don't know which, I, it might be between 1 or 2. It might be after 1 or 2, I don't know. Um, so, uh, the second bomb component's also through this area. Um, the reason I believe it's after um, what's it called? First of all, I don't know what to do here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a force field that keeps going on and off. Um, the reason I believe this game it came after Metroid Fusion and all the Primes did is because Metroids, Metroids supposedly were extinct. You know how in the Super Metroid we had the Last Metroid in captivity, the planet's at peace, and then, uh, Mother Brain kills the last Metroid, supposedly. I say supposedly because... How else in Metroid Fusion, if Fusion did come after Super Metroid, would Samus get the Metroid vaccine? Because Samus is taken over by X, and the X... Um, since the X are all powerful beings, the Metroids are the only thing that can stop them. So if that is true, how did they get the Metroid vaccine? If the Met all the Metroids are dead, why would they keep Metroid vaccine all around? Okay. Then, you might say, okay, well, Metroids are alive. How does that prove that this comes after that? I think it comes after it because the X could be the start of Phazon because you know those blue X, the icy ones, they kind of look like Phazon to me. And um, you might say, how did the Metroids repopulate? Remember those animals that you save, the animals that help you in Super Metroid? Those animals had no X trace in them. I'm sure they wouldn't give something they didn't test, like a Metroid vaccine, to their most powerful bounty hunter. So, they must have tested it on those animals. And, if those animals have the Metroid vaccine, that means they can't be overrun by X. Now, what if they repopulate it? Then they have Metroids born. Like, their underlings, or their children, would be Metroids. Or, not exactly Metroids, they'd have Metroid DNA. And then, you know how Metroids, when they get killed, they, like the fusion Metroids in Metroid Prime, they just automatically, uh, what the heck? Oh, um, dang it! I can't talk. Um, in Metroid, in Metroid Prime, the Metroids go by or repopulate immediately when they are killed. So, that can be a key element there. And then, here's the big part. What if the creatures die of old age? Hmm. If the creatures die, then the Metroids will come out of them. I don't, I don't know. This is my entire theory. I don't know. I actually came up with this. I, I, if someone else thought of it too, congratulations, but I... I'm not stealing anyone's work, it's just I've never heard this done by anyone else. So like, I made this up all out of myself, so. There's still a couple rough patches that I don't know where stuff goes. 
But I really do. I kind of hope that the Prime series came after this. I've always kind of wanted it to. And how do I get down to that orange door? Oh. Duh. I've been just wandering around for a while. So yeah, that's where I stand on the Metroid versus um, where the Prime games go into the game. Now, another annoying thing I have is that... Oh, crap. Um, what's his name? Dude guy said that... The guy who created um, Zelda said that they aren't connected. And that just made me all sorts of sad because I love the Zelda series and they should have a timeline. But this is Metroid, it's not Zelda, and oh my gosh, it's a pirate thing. Oh yeah, this can be a little annoying. A little later, watch this. Okay, now, wait until that thing, holy crap, wait until that thing is right there and go. If that's not in the way... Perfect. Wait until it's at the opposite end, like that. Perfect. And jump over here. That is why I love this. Holy crap! That just scared the living crap out of me. Oh my gosh. That scared me so bad. And the worst thing is, I watched this last night I knew that it was there and I'm like well now that I know it's there it's not gonna scare I completely forgot that was there oh my gosh <laughs> okay leave a comment if that scared you too because oh that scared the oh my gosh that was terrifying oh, oh man my heart is going so fast. And you can actually disintegrate them, which is really disgusting. Look at them. It really scared me. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you how bad I just jumped. <laughs> wow. If you could hear me jump on the recording, that would be crazy. Like, my chair sometimes makes noise, so I bet you could hear it. But wow. And energy tank. Force field. Oh, that stinks. What the heck is that? Force field. Pretty creepy. Hi. Very creepy. Ah, spinner. Go into it. Perfect. Perfection. Hmm. This is a little bit of a maze. That's scary. Yeah, this this area is probably the scariest area in the game. It just creepy. It's kind of like a phase on mines or um, I'm trying to think of something scary in Metroid Prime 2. There's nothing really scary in Prime 2. For me at least. Actually wait. The Dark World's kind of scary. I don't know. I don't really feel it's terrifying. Like phase on mines I don't like in Prime 1 but I, I don't know. What's, what's the scariest game I've ever played? Probably Metroid Prime 1 because when I was younger I was terrified of that game so scared it's probably just because um probably the only reason I'm I was scared of it is because I was really young when that came out like that came out in 2002 or 3 oh my gosh I was really young 
And I, I used to stay up all night and play it. Um, I think I went the wrong way. Crud. Ah, yeah, don't get turned around here. Ah, over here. Because you can get easily lost. Very easily lost. And, um... Yeah. <sighs> and what's this? Oh, it's got a force field on it. Well, the only logical thing to do is disengage it. Um, how do I disengage it? I pulled it, though. Okay. The second we do this, every single force field in this entire place will be disengaged. Okay. Now it gets kind of creepy here. It's really dark. And... Seeker Missile Online, finally. So yeah, Seeker Missiles in this game, check this out, this looks pretty cool. They give you a ton of these bugs, the reason why is because in case you get stuck in here, because you don't have enough missiles, you can burn through them and get free missiles, which is nice. Now this gets kind of creepy. Because, wait a minute, weren't the Metroids in the area with their no force field? They had force field, now they don't have force fields. Can I roll into the hole, please? Camera! Uh, this is kind of dark, actually. I don't know if I can see where I'm going. I have the windows open and... It's so bright outside, and it's dark on the TV, and oh my gosh, there they are. Oh my gosh! Now... Metroids in this game, completely stupid. Two shots with the hyper mode, kill it. Hyper ball, kills it. It's crazy easy. Now, if you don't want to use hyper mode, then you'll get a little bit of a trouble with the Metroids. Oh gosh, that actually scared me. Yeah, they're pathetically easy in this game. Kind of a disappointment, but oh well. Wait, why are we going down? I don't know. Here are the Metroids. Here they come. Where is the energy tank? Okay, so we'll go through this way. Probably give me some more Metroids right there. Yep. Fine. There. Happy? <laughs> Actually, I don't think we can go this way. I think we have to go this way. Yes. Boom. Seeker missiles in this game are just completely awesome. Look at all those Metroids. Where's the energy tank? Here it is. Any more Metroids who want to ruin my day? Please. You don't stand a chance, guys. Energy tank acquired. I think this is our eighth energy tank. Let's see. One, 
two, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, yeah, maybe. No, I don't watch Sesame Street, I watch Mad. Which is actually a pretty funny show. There are a couple of the episodes I really like. Like the Big Fang Theory, that was hilarious. The Big Fang Theory, I love that. Especially since I like the Big Bang Theory, it's um funny show. I love the episode of the Big Bang Theory when they're playing Settlers. If you don't know that game, uh, you need to get it. It is such a fun game. I don't know if I can leave here. Uh, Settlers is the thing where Sheldon is playing uh, with Howard and Raj. Actually, I don't think I can go that way. How do I get out of here? Uh, he's playing it with Howard and Raj, and of course I have to go that way. Um, and it's the game with wood for my sheep. It's such a fun game, but they they were really, really making hilarious jokes on that. But I think we're going to end it here. We got our Seeker Missiles. We got a bomb component. Next time, we're going to get our final two bomb components, a couple more missile tanks, our missile expansions, and we're going to blow open that seed. So... Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.